Hello everyone. How are you all? I hope you all are fine. This is your science lecture, science lecture of grade fifth, and I am your science teacher Aparna Pandey from Arjun Progressive School, Lamachal. So students, as you all know that we have started our chapter number two, and the name of our chapter is. Varying lifestyle of animals. The name of our chapter is Varying lifestyle of animals. Yes. So, student, in this chapter we have discussed about the feeding habit of animals. Here, in this chapter we have discussed about the feeding habits of animals. Right. Now, in today's class, we are going to discuss about the movement in animals. In today's class, we are going to discuss about the movement in animals. And in this movement in animals, we will discuss about the organ of movements. Means, which type of animal moves? But, uh, which type of animal moves with the, <coughs> sorry with the help of which organ right so that we are going to discuss in today's class so before moving forward just kindly open your science books absolute science book page number 13 okay kindly open book page number 13 though i am explaining you each and everything here but in book it will help you in uh, seeing the diagrams the pictures that is given it will help you okay so kindly open book page number 13 here now we are going to discuss about the movement in animals now a student before going further one thing that we have to put in our mind at the time of talking on the movement that for movement there are four limbs. For movement in animals there are four limbs. What are these four limbs actually? Four limbs get divided into the two parts. Two front limbs and two back limbs okay so for um, uh, most thing that you have to remember that in animals there are four limbs and these four limbs can be divided into the two parts and the one is called the two two four limbs two front limbs and two back limbs okay two front limbs and two back limbs now here the front limbs are called four limbs. See this is four. This is four. F-O-U-R four. And this two front limbs are called four limbs. But the wale limbs. F-O-R-E four. Okay. So what we come to know that we come to know that in animals there are four limbs and we can divide these four limbs into two types. Two front limbs and two back limbs. Front limbs means four limbs. Front limbs are called four limbs. Two back limbs are called hind limbs. Okay. Two back limbs are called hind limbs. For better understanding, you can see like this that uh, you have seen any animal, so uske to aage ke haat, to piche ke haat. To jo aage ke haat honge, that what we call four limbs. Jo piche ke haat honge, that is called hind limbs. Okay. So in this way, you have to remember. Right. So, what is four limbs? Four limbs means the front limbs. Sorry. Four limbs means the front limbs. Aage wale haan. Back limbs means hind limbs. So, the wale. So, when we talk about the animals, we can consider four limbs as hands and hind limbs as legs. Okay. This you have to remember that when we say four limbs, so this is these are the limbs, these are the front two hands, and when we say hind limbs, these are the two back hands, or you can say two back legs. So four limbs are called hands, and hind limbs are called legs. Simple if you try to understand. So whenever we talk about the four limbs. Get idea that we are talking about hands and ever and whenever I will say hind limb get idea that we are talking about the leg. I hope it is clear to everyone. Now when we say about the 
lens when we talk about the lens so what do you think that how we humans are using these lens what do you think we humans we human beings as mammal in mammals category human beings are the most modified uh, species right so according to you what these human beings are doing how they are using their four limbs and hind limbs four limbs are used by the humans for doing work for eating okay for holding the objects because four limbs means hand four limbs means hand when we talk about the hind limbs in human beings so what do you think hind limbs is help us in moving walking running climbing so whatever the role of leg that is the role of hind limb because i told you hind limb is leg and fore limb is hands so in human beings in mammals in especially in human beings the fore limbs hands are used for holding object for eating things for doing work right and the hind limb or the legs are used for moving walking climbing running okay now this is this we have talked in terms of human beings let's see what happens in terms of animals so it is it is clear to everyone now in when we say animals so in like human being there are some animals like monkey chimpanzee gorilla so they also do the things as humans do okay so they also having the four limbs the hands that help them for holding things and the legs to stand walk jump etc right so this is the role done by the monkey gorilla chimpanzee they also act like human beings so they also use their four limb and hind limb as humans are using their hands and legs now when we talk about the birds let's see what is the movement that birds make and how they make this movement so when we say about the birds one thing is that you have seen wings in the birds right birds have wings so what are these wings actually these wings are the four limbs of birds actually these wings are the modified four limbs modified four limbs means our four limbs are just helping us in holding the things but birds have modified four limbs means birds uh, that four limbs in birds is helping birds to fly so what we are saying that in birds wings are modified four limb okay so we come to know that in a bird wings are there and they are actually the four limbs so what are the hind limbs then birds see you have seen birds fly but you also have seen that birds walk on ground is it aisa to nahi ki birds sirf fly karte hain birds also move so how they are moving at the time of moving on ground they are making use of their hind limbs they are making use of their hind limbs so in birds there are pair of legs as hind limb okay they have a pair of legs as hind limb and it is helping them in walking okay it helps them in doing walk now legs of birds <coughs> sorry legs of birds also have claws also have claws they they are not just using their uh, legs for moving or walking but actually their hind limbs have claws and these claws helps them to catch their prey to catch their prey and piercing the flesh if they want to eat flesh then these claws only help them in piercing the flesh as well as they help them to catch their prey okay so the they are actually using hind limbs for walking running as well as for catching their prey so this we have talk about the birds now there are some birds which do not fly means they have wings but they cannot fly but such birds are like ostrich kiwi what is there they have wings but and they in their wings feathers are also there but actually their wings are not so strong that they can fly 
right so these birds like uh, ostrich kiwi and we have one more is there emu these birds these birds help these birds are called flightless birds because they cannot fly another thing that i just want to tell you here is that okay some birds can fly and some cannot fly and the wings of the birds are attached to the muscles attached to the strong chest muscle of birds jo wings hote hain birds ke wo birds ke strong chest muscle se attach hote hain tabhi birds can fly and help them in that wings help them in lifting them up okay so this is the role of the birds now we have discussed about the hind limb and fore limb in birds human beings in animals now it's time to discuss about the reptiles so what is the case of reptiles now students in reptiles not all reptiles have limbs okay foremost thing that you have to put in mind in case of reptiles is that not all reptiles have limbs some reptiles have limbs and some do not have limbs so those who have limbs but they are doing they are like lizard turtle crocodiles they have two pairs of limbs but even then they crawl even then they crawl though they have limbs but they do not move even then they crawl and they are using their limbs for just lifting their body little up from the ground means like lizard crocodile turtle they are not using their legs <coughs> for moving sorry they are not using their legs for just only moving so they simply crawl but they are using their legs their legs for lifting themselves little up from the ground i hope it is clear now as this i told you for those reptiles those who have limbs now let us talk about the reptiles that do not have limbs and the most common example for this is a snake the most common example for this is a snake a snake do not have limbs when but i am thinking now how do a snake move because you have seen a snake moving on the floor moving on wall climbing on trees then how it is possible so student a snake do not have limbs but it has scales on the lower surface of his body it has some scale or plates like design on the lower surface of his body and that scales with the help of that scales and ribs the flexible ribs with the help of that scales and the flexible ribs snakes make movement snakes make movement okay see they have broad plates or scales <coughs> present on the lower side of their body these scales are attached to their ribs okay when a snake move these plates act like a feet and ribs act like a legs तो स्नेक अपनी स्केल्स जो उनके बॉडी के लोअर साइड में स्केल्स हैं उसकी हेल्प से एंड रिब्स की हेल्प से मूव करता है एंड व्हेन इट मेक मूवमेंट तो द स्केल एक्ट लाइक अ फीट स्केल एक फीट की तरह एंड रिब्स एक्ट लाइक अ लैग इन दैट आर यू गेटिंग द डिफरेंस बिटवीन फीट एंड लैग ओके नाउ so and they also have a flexible backbone they have a flexible backbone that's why they can move make movement like this now let's talk about the insects what type of limbs insects have so student in insects three pairs of legs with two pairs of wings in insect there are three pairs of legs okay three pairs of legs and two wings they have so is in a general language you can say that in insect there are three six legs in insects there are six legs along with the four wings because it is saying two pairs of wings two pairs means four wings so in six mein kya hota hai in six mein six legs and four wings hote hain and if we talk in terms of pairs then we can say that insect have three pair of legs and two pair of wings 
Now, what is the role? How they are doing? How they are moving? So, see, insects like cockroach, bacteria, and ants crawl on their legs. Okay. Some insects like grasshopper use its long hind legs for whooping. Whooping means jumping like this from one place to another place. <coughs> So, these are using their legs for whooping. Some insects like water botmen use their legs as a oars for swinging in water. Okay, for swimming in water. Now, some insects like butterflies, houseflies and honeybees have wings to fly. The wings of insects are different from those of birds. Okay, the wings of insects are different from those of birds, they do not have feathers or bones or strong muscles, right? Their wings are made of tiny colored scales. Tiny means chote chote scales, colored scales. They move with the help of muscles which are attached to the thorax of the insects. Thorax means the region neck ke dhar se jo area hai ke insect ka, they, uh, their wings are attached, their muscles are attached with the thorax and with the help of that they are able to move. Okay. Now, for better understanding, you can go through the pictures given here. Okay. For better understanding, you can go through the pictures of these insects. Now, certain insects. Such as leaves, bad bugs, silver fish and fleas do not have wings. They cannot fly. They only crawl with their legs. Okay. So in the case of insects students, what we come to know that some insects have legs, some have wings, some have both legs and wings and they are making use accordingly to that. Okay. Now. Let's talk about the water animals and in water animals the most common is fish. The most common water animal is fish. So when we talk about the fish, what we can see say that fishes have paired fins or unpaired fins. Fishes have like in animals we are talking about the fore limb and hind limb. So in that way in water animals like fish they have paired fins and unpaired fins okay they have paired fins and unpaired fins now what is the role of paired fins and what is the role of unpaired fins let's see so student paired <coughs> sorry paired fins and unpaired fins similar to the four limbs and hen limbs in other animals means jaise hum other animals mein kehte hain they have four limbs so in fishes we are saying they have paired fins. In other animals we are saying they have hen limbs. In fish we are saying they have unpaired fins. So here the paired fins means the paired fins means four limb and the unpaired fin means hen limb. Okay. Now let's see what it is saying. The two paired limbs are used to move forward. The two paired fins the two paired limbs are used to move forward and the unpaired fins maintain balance and tail help in changing the direction and tail help in changing the direction so jo four limb hai wo act karte hai for moving forward aur jo hind limb jo unpaired hai they help in maintaining balance and the tail of the fish help in changing the direction I hope now it is clear to everyone. Now, a turtle and a tortoise can also swim. They have four padded like limbs to push water. Penguins use their four limbs as flippers to push water and swim. Animals like frogs and dogs have webbed toes that help them to swim in water. Okay, webbed toes. Toes have webbed with the vessel is bunny away type ke. In frog, hand limbs are much longer than the fore limbs. In frogs, you all have seen frog front legs and back legs. So front are if you front call them fore limbs. So the back one is called hand limbs, and you have seen frog hand limb because the back legs of the frog are always long. So what it is saying that in frog the hand limbs are much longer than the fore limbs. These has the frog in jumping. These has the frog in jumping. So student, in today's class, here we have discussed about
about the movement. Movement of animals. Movement of animals. Movement of human beings. And here we have discussed about the limbs. And we come to know that there are four limbs. Four limbs and if we divide them into the pair then two four limbs and two hand limbs. Four limbs are called hands. Hand limbs are called legs. And accordingly we have discussed this about the animals, human beings, insects, reptiles, birds and fish. For better understanding, kindly read the topic given in your science book as well as go through the diagrams. It will help you in understanding things better. So I hope you all will like this video. Thank you and have a nice day ahead.